wrong with you? What, did you think he was gonna hack me up into little pieces or something? Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2016 horror film Terrifier. The film is written and directed by Damien Leone and it stars Jenna Cannell, Samantha Scafidi, David Howard Thornton as Art the Clown and we have Catherine Cochran. Right, okay, the film focuses on... Two girls, essentially. We have uh, Tara and Dawn. Uh, they are heading home after a fun night out. And unfortunately, they cross paths with Art the Clown. Uh, one of them, Tara, is quite suspicious of him. The other one thinks it's just a bit of fun. Uh, turns out to be the worst night of their and anybody else's life who gets in his way. Because Art the Clown is a homicidal maniac um, and he's out to kill, kill and kill again just to entertain himself. Right. What are my thoughts on Terrifier? Well, I almost dared myself into watching this. I can't remember what review it was recently um, where I said I consider reviewing the Terrifier films for Halloween because uh, um, I've, not, I've not seen that Terrifier films. No, I like horror films overall. Um, but sometimes I think uh, I'm not a big fan of like horror when it gets a bit extreme, I suppose, is the best way I could describe it. I don't like extreme body horror. I don't like extreme violence in horror, that kind of stuff. And I knew this kind of played around... Um, in those margins quite extensively so I, I just never really had a real interest in checking the films out well i have every intention of doing that now because i kind of as i said kind of dared myself into doing it so i've watched the first one now um and um uh, i was kind of right it is quite extreme isn't it um but i also was wrong because I did quite enjoy the film too, I'm not going to lie. Um, I thought the performance here of David Howard Thornton as Art the Clown is fantastic. Completely memorable. His body, actions, the, his movements. I mean, he's essentially, he's a mime throughout this film. But he says so much just with his face. It's very, very good indeed, his performance. It'll make you smile, make you giggle, and it'll also make you absolutely khaki britches um what uh, a very memorable and deserving if you like i think to go down with some of the horror greats that we've seen in years gone by you know the, you know the, the ghost faces the freddies the jaces the michael myers i think and you know obviously this franchise is getting traction now i think there's going to be more to come obviously we know terrifier 3 is out very shortly so i don't think it's going to slow down and he's a very good character. So I found him and his performance terrifying and entertaining at the same time. Um, and, well, what, what, where do I start with the kills? Where do you start with them? Um, I, let me start with my surprise, I think. <laughs> uh, they're a bit over the top, aren't they? Uh, but, I mean, early on, some of the earlier kills... Like the guys in the pizzeria and stuff. Yeah, okay, they were pretty graphic, but um, I could kind of handle that sort of thing. And then we get <laughs> Tara's friend, don't we? Who gets chained upside down and chainsawed. I didn't expect that. And that was pretty intense in regards to scenes, horror scenes. Um, I, I, how that got through the sensors, I don't know. Um, I really don't. That was graphic, to say the least. Um, and then it just kind of... That was it then. It's like, okay, can't do any worse than that, so I just kind of settled into it then, I suppose. If I could watch that, I could watch anything, I suppose. Oh, 
so yeah i kind of settled in and, and quite enjoyed the rest of it i mean it was full of surprises you know who you think's going to be the final girl isn't the final girl there isn't really a final girl at all uh, because Art the Clown's pretty uncompromising here. Um, it kind of takes the whole concept of a final girl or a final guy and sticks two fingers up at it and says, "Have that. Um, we're not gonna. We're not messing around here." And this character, Art the Clown's not messing around. So wonderfully over the top violence. Uh, wonderfully over the top gore. Um, wince inducing kills. <laughs> Um, and what again? Because I've I've knew nothing about this film. I know that this character, Art the Clown, was in was it All Hallows Eve, uh, and I don't think I've seen that. And uh, that might be something I'll seek out. And then there was also, I think, a short short film, twenty minute film in twenty eleven that he was in as well. This character, but with a different actor, I think. Um, so it's been around a while as this character, but. I knew nothing about this film going into it. I'd never really watched a review or any clips or anything of other than knowing who Art the Cloud is. And it quite surprised me how tight the story was. It was quite a... Um, I don't know what, what's the best way to describe it. Quite an enclosed film. You know, it, most of it takes place in this like abandoned building. Um... Maybe in the in the next films, it you know expands a bit, and it, it which is usually what happens in sequels. But it's quite an intimate film. This, in a sense of, it all happens in this one building, and um, anybody that enters that building really um, has had it in regards to Art the Clown, because you are it's free reign as far as he's concerned, and um, I, I I I didn't expect that really. Um, and in a lot of ways, the film, well, it is, it's a flashback, really, because at the beginning you get a scene with this poor woman that's had her face disfigured at the hands of Art the Clown, um, go on a chat show, and then something happens there, and then we kind of get this story, if you like, of how this disfigurement happens. So the ending was okay, was okay but I, I'm not sure what I made of the the ending in regards to art the clown um you know is it going down a supernatural route with him not really sure what it were doing with that did they think they were never going to make another film i don't really know uh, i don't know how they tidy that up in the second one if they even bother at all but yeah i, I can't lie i did find this entertaining um I, i'm not sure i'd want to rush to watch it again not not because i didn't this I, I didn't like it i just you know that i did find it sometimes a little bit over the top but let's be honest who couldn't watch some of those scenes in that film and think it wasn't over the top at times um but in a good way in a in a borderline acceptable way i suppose um yeah it definitely some scenes in that uh, that are hard to forget really uh, so yeah i'm looking forward to checking out terrifier 2 and then ultimately i'm going to be checking out terrifier 3 as well so stay tuned for those review guys let me know um which is your favorite terrifier because many of you when you watch this review will be getting ready to go and see the third one so give me some feedback on that one as well guys and let me know which is the best one in the series of terrifier films and i'll look forward to re uh, visiting them very very soon so thanks for joining me